This segment brought to you by Kansas Soybean Commission. Progress powered by Kansas farmers. I'm Dr. Ross Rich. I was a uh, private uh, practice in uh, Phoenix, Arizona at Cave Creek Equine Surgical and Diagnostic Imaging Center for the last 15 years. And before that, I, I was a, a staff surgeon at another veterinary clinic. I sold that practice, I started a consulting company called Regenerative Medicine Consulting. And so uh, now I'm, I'm doing more consulting work for uh, the stem cell industry and trying to work and put together uh, private practices that have large numbers of uh, uh, clinical patients with um, the university and, and private industry that are doing uh, stem cell research. I first started using stem cells in 2004 and continued through uh, 2015 and have treated more um, horses than anybody in the country, so over 800 now. And so I have a lot of experience. Um, I, what I presented today was some research on uh, stifle injuries and cartilage regeneration in a large number of horses, so 98 horses, which is a huge series. Um, and we've had very good success rates. And the, the, besides being much more successful using regenerative therapy, we've also shortened the healing time significantly. So most of my horses were completely healed in five to six months and back to full work and competition, whereas those horses that did not receive regenerative therapy took on average eight and a half months longer to heal before they went back to full competition. And we've also looked at uh, other uh, different types of orthopedic injuries and, and that we've treated over the past uh, 11 to 12 years with stem cell therapy and found the, the same kind of success rate. So we treated, uh, we have a large series that we published a couple of years ago on suspensory ligament injuries in horses. And, before stem cells, that used to mean the kiss of death for the horse athlete. Now, uh, with, the, with a suspensory ligament injury, the horse comes in, I talk to the client, we diagnose the suspensory, I tell them, well, you've got a suspensory ligament injury, we'll put stem cells in there, and most of the horses are gonna be completely healed in five months, and you'll have your horse back and back in competition again. Not only did our success rates uh, become much higher than what is reported in the literature with uh, conservative treatment, but those, um, the, the re-injury rate because of healing with scar tissue with conservative treatment was uh, about 75% in the first year that the horses returned to competition. Whereas in our study with 84 horses, we had an 86% long-term athletically sound success rate with less than a 1% re-injury rate. So that's pretty amazing when you think about it. It made a huge difference. So these injuries that used to be career enders are no longer career ending injuries in the horse. And um, my whole thing is get the horses healed faster, get them back to competition sooner, but keep them in competition for many years longer than some of the quick fix things that other people you know, are, are doing that may get the horse back in competition, but are continuing to break the tissues down instead of repairing the tissues. And so it, the horses' careers are significantly shortened as athletes. So I get, uh, I do consults on cases, you know, people send me radiographs and MRIs and that and ask the, the best way to treat these particular problems and I make recommendations as well as rehabilitation uh, recommendations after the treatment. You can't expect your success rates to be very good because the horses don't know enough to, to to stop playing in that. They'll go out and buck and play and, and the stem cells are very anti-inflammatory and pain relieving. So if a horse feels good, they're gonna go be hard on themselves. So as quick as you're healing things with stem cells, they can be tearing it right back down again. So rehabilitation programs are just as important as the, tr the treatment itself. And that can make all the difference in the world. Closed caption.